under the patronage of Dr. Sheikha Rania bint Ali Al Khalifa, Director of the Aliyah Early Intervention Center of the Bahrain Society for Children with Behavior and Communication Difficulties. The annual Celebration Talent Day and Mother's Day celebration was held in the presence of a number of center staff and parents of the students. The ceremony included many musical passages, theater performances for children, in addition to presentations done by students for the Mother's Day celebration. The ceremony also included the exhibition of art and handicraft products for children, which is a reflection of the center's efforts to show the areas of brilliance and excellence for the talented group of students who, despite their disability, managed to impress everyone with their production. A high center for early intervention plays a major role in the involvement of children with autism and Down syndrome in society to enhance their academic aspect and develop them socially. On Thursday, March 14th, the 5 p.m. at Bar performance at Tree of Arts, Coffee Flavors and Music Modis was staged in the front piazza of Bahrain. The 5 p.m. at Bob event comes in March and April in conjunction with the 14th Spring Cultural Festival at the corner of Square. More than 20 children from 6 to 12 years of age participated in the art expression workshop offered by trainer Farah Jawahiri. During the workshop, children learned different ways of artistic creativity as well as learning about various technical tools and how to use them. In conclusion, after acquiring these new creative skills, the children completed their own paintings. Today we decided to do a workshop with kids. Um, I decided to choose Under the Sea. Um, they're doing octopuses. Um, they're having an octopus party under the sea, basically. Um, the kids seem like they're loving it. And the weather is amazing. There's live music. There's coffee. Everything's great. We are here at Babel Bahrain. The atmosphere is so beautiful. Keeping with the environment, we have beautiful music being played by the ministry, brought to you by the Ministry of culture. We have kids painting at the side and the whole atmosphere is so nice. We have coffee and a nice evening, a beautiful evening to keep yourself warm. And after all, Bahrain is the art culture of the Middle East. So it's really keeping up to its name. It's very important because, you know, it changes the whole atmosphere. It's so congenial, all are so friendly. It brings people from different cultures all together here. Everyone is enjoying. It's so peaceful and so nice to be out here. We thank the government and the Ministry of Culture for, you know, having such beautiful uh, evenings like this. It's nice, you know, it brings a lot of peace and beautiful environment, keeping with a cool atmosphere around. Turning to another corner, the audience at Bab al-Bahrain was on date with a unique musical melodies of Muhammad Rashid trio band, which performed music from the gypsy jazz. 
The guests also enjoyed a special coffee tasting prepared by the food lab. I'm in the middle of uh, Manama, Babel Bahrain, enjoying this amazing festival, which mixes music, art and coffee, three things that we cannot go without. And uh, looking around me, I see fragments of our beautiful uh, community represented by different nationalities and backgrounds. And uh, nothing better to spend our Thursday uh, afternoon than to be here in Babel Bahrain. The Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority has launched a series of events to mark the revival of Bab al Bahrain, one of the oldest cultural landmarks in the kingdom. In addition to creating an attractive environment for everyone to participate and enjoy cultural activity. Kids Kindergarten and the Nahe School organize a carnival for children and their families in a fun atmosphere. KG Kids Kindergarten and Nahe School celebrated its annual carnival with the students. Teachers and students at Rafah Views Football Academy were in a dynamic and interactive atmosphere. The carnival program was varied among sports, culture, and entertainment with a large number of students and their families. The young trade show received great attention from children. They learned the rules of buying, selling, and negotiating with customers by displaying their different products. The carnival, whose proceeds are earmarked to support the initiative to support children with cancer, was organized with the cooperation of KG Kids and Nakhil School and Parents Council. The event was also sponsored by local institutions to promote the concept of community partnership. CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, SCE, Dr. Mohammed Barak bin Daniel, received a delegation from the Northern Municipal Council, chaired by Chairman Ahmed Al Kauhaji, to discuss a number of environmental issues in the Northern Governorate. Bin Daniel highlighted interest to promote cooperation with the municipal councils to solve environmental problems. Al Kauhaji stressed readiness to boost cooperation to support environmental level in Bahrain. Financial Economic Committee of the Representatives and Shura Councils held a coordination meeting and a preparation for their anticipated meeting with the government scheduled on next Wednesday. Head of the Representatives Financial Economic Committee Ali Ishaqi said the government has been communicated to answer the legislative members' inquiries about the state budget draft law. He affirmed that the committee would carefully deliberate the state budget draft law with ministries and government institutions. He added more coordination meetings between the two committees would be held to develop a clear vision on budgets allocated for various projects. 
The ministry said that the improvement works of Alba Roundabout interchange project necessitated the closure of the slip lane from the Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah Highway to Al Istiqlal Highway leading to Isa Town and alternative roads will be provided to the traffic movement through Avenue 77 or Alba Roundabout. The closure will be effective from Monday 11 p.m. to Thursday 5 a.m. The National Bureau for Revenue MBR held another interactive workshop primarily aimed at increasing the VAT awareness of professionals working in the retail and wholesale sectors. The workshop attracted 90 representatives from over 50 companies and recapped general and technical VAT concepts including VAT record keeping. Following the workshop, attendees visited the unique interactive demo center that provides innovative learning experiences to assist vendors in implementing VAT. The workshop is a continuation of the series of workshops organized by the MBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sectors to ensure that smooth registration of companies with the annual supply of 500,000 Bahraini dinars to 5 million Bahraini dinars by June. Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa delegated Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of the Electricity and Water Authority, Deputy Minister of Oil, to inaugurate the Middle East Energy Summit in its first edition in the Kingdom of Bahrain as part of the 21st Middle East Oil and Gas Show. Sheikh Nawaf welcomed the holding of this important event in the Kingdom of Bahrain in its first edition, appraising the important topics that will be presented in the discussion sessions with the participation of speakers from various companies and institutions concerned about the energy sector, wishing all the success to achieve the goals of the summit. He said that the world is witnessing many difficult challenges at various levels, including industries, transport and energy, which need to develop safe, sustainable and modern strategies in line with the rapid development in order to meet the growing demands for energy resources and maintain the growth and prosperity of the global economy. The importance of studying these challenges and analyzing them and taking advantage of experiences from various international bodies specializing in energy and turning them into investment opportunities for development towards the progress of growth and prosperity is important for this sector. He added that the rapid changes, fierce competition, many complex challenges, the emergence of the fourth generation of industrial revolution, modern technologies and rapid developments in the global market have made companies, institutions and universities seriously focus on investment towards innovation, development, research and the use of modern technologies to improve products. These products are in line with international standards and are of high quality, competitive in the market and meet the market needs of energy sources. The participants discussed relevant topics including building flexible and sustainable energy strategies, improving energy economics, energy technology and innovation, energy best practices and lessons learned and energy management through the development of specialized policies in the energy sector. They also discussed the exchanging of expertise, information and experiences in the field of energy.